we had another experience, probably a month after we were um, online, and we used to hear over the loudspeaker at Mania patient handling stations. Um, but this time, I was in the water room eating dinner when we heard plane crash, plane crash. So we went out. I wasn't on duty, so we went out on the deck. And there was a helicopter in the water right beside us. And um, it was carrying 13, 13 patients. So hel other helicopters came. We watched the entire rescue effort. Never, never to leave my mind. Never to leave my mind. I believe that we would save um, six, six patients, six boys. But what was more important, as far as I was concerned, was the following week. We, we, well, we traveled uh, three miles offshore between South July to um, the DMC line. And so we, this was in July that the accident happened. And coming, this um, helicopter was bringing these patients to us. Anyways, <clears throat> we were coming back, and I was on night duty, and I would walk in between wards, and I always walked out on the deck when I was um, walking between the wards. And I, um, what was going on when I went out was one of the boats was going out into the water, and I could see this big wall up in the water. I stayed and watched. What it was was an inflated body of one of the boys who was in that helicopter crash. So um, it was awful for the, uh, the linesmen, who are also boys, that had to pick this body out of the water. But I always looked at it as a MIA, less, less MIA, so that a family could get some peace of mind. Tet was huge. That was the 1st of February, 68. Um, we received 138 patients within a 24-hour period. Um, about 15 of them were head cases, one neurosurgeon. So you know what happened to a lot of the patients. Um, eight, eight did make it, I know, in regard to that. But I still remember them coming in, one after another after another. The helicopter pilot, I mean, those are, those are wonderful, life-saving people. They were, they were coming constantly, constantly. We were trying to keep up with it, but you know, everybody, all the hospitals were involved that were in the area. But we couldn't take care of them all. It just couldn't happen. I can, that, those three days are days that, uh, probably it was the only time that I was, and I, all of, many of us, were very emotionally um, ex exhausted, uh, mentally and physically because we were a good 14-hour days, if not longer, seven days. It ended up being seven days a week. But it was um, quite a while before things subsided after that. It was awful tough. Um, some of the, and when I told you about the patient who called my name, he'd been surrounded for two and three days by the enemy. They don't know if, they don't know if they're going to make it. I mean, it was... Pretty hard, pretty hard on them. When they came in to us, they were so glad to have people that they could feel safe with. That, that's truly, but many of them had not eaten in three days and, and they'd been under this, well, they thought it was the end for themselves, for sure. Um, yeah, we had um, boys and wives that would cry out but other boys who were, had been in the same areas with them and who were doing okay, comforted them. I mean, these servicemen all helped one another. They, they really did. They helped us, and they helped one another. They were. When we, before we left, we were told what was going on in this country. We were so busy with technol because that was in... February, and I left, I think, the end of March or part of April, uh, that we didn't really know what was happening back here. Um, but we were forewarned before leaving, because we was, all of us were starting to leave. And 
And they told us that when we got to our airport at home, to we had to travel in uniform and get out of the uniform. So when I landed at Logan Airport, that's exactly what I did. And although when I got there, I also began to understand. It took me a while, but I did begin to understand what was going on here. The anger and the hate of the American people that we were in this war. The way I looked at it was, one way or another, I didn't have those kind of feelings. I was just so glad I was able to help these kids. They were kids. We're talking about young boys for the most part. Uh, um, mostly Marines. We had mostly Marines on the ship. That's how I looked at it.